Shamai, welcome. Uh, as a lot of you know, um, in my tutorials, I use the, the excellent service Open Node. Uh, it's really easy, it's really user friendly, it's very easy to get started with. And if you haven't got a full node running, which is quite hard, um, it's a way in which you can start building stuff like websites, you can start building, you know, point of sale uh, devices and all that sort of stuff. Um, but uh, it's been high time that I, I, I actually port the projects across so they run, um, they can communicate with a, uh, a full node, uh, a lightning full node. So today's tutorial is just getting our ESP32 to request some information from the uh, Lightning Network full node. Um, and then this will probably be like the first part of a bunch of tutorials. So maybe the next time we'll display the information on a screen. And then after that, we'll, we'll input some information and then get the uh, LND uh, node to generate an invoice and then display the invoice as a QR code or something. So for, but for today's tutorial, just to keep it simple, sort of break it down into stages. Um, we're going to be getting some information about our node and then um, just outputting it to the serial monitor so we can see it on the computer. As always, I've got a GitHub for this little project. There's not much in the README because it's basically what it is. We're just doing a GET request to an LND node. Uh, if we go get the code here, um, uh, we can just copy and paste. There's only a small amount of code. Uh, it's quite a simple project, but at the same time, there's um, a few little jobs we need to do to get it running. So there's not much code there. Um, we're going to be using this library, Wi-Fi Client Secure, which is included in the SP32 core uh, library. If you haven't installed your SP32 into Arduino IDE, then Google um, installing the SP32 into Arduino IDE. You'll have to go get a, a reference URL from and put in preferences. And then you can go to, once you've done that, you can go to Tools, um, Board, Board Manager, you can uh, install your SP32 boards and then it should turn up here then on this list and you can just select it. So I'm using the Node MCU32S today, um, but usually I often use the, uh, the dev, kit, <coughs> dev kit version 1, which I think is just like the generic, like, where is it? Uh, yeah, SP32 dev module, I think that's it. Um, so yeah, um, so once you've done that, uh, if you select that board, it's going to automatically include a bunch of libraries, one of them being Wi-Fi Client Secure. And that's a library just for making uh, secure connections, SSL connections over the internet. You'll need to add your Wi-Fi credentials, so your username and password for your Wi-Fi, so your SP32 can actually connect to the internet and go speak with your a node. You'll need to put in your node URL. So um, I'm assuming if you're doing this project, then um, you've got a public URL for your node, which you can access. Um, and you'll need to stick it in there. I'm not going to be using a node on site. I'm going to be using uh, in Berlin. There's this great bar called Room 77, and they've got a node which I'm making a point of sale terminal for. So I'm going to be using that node uh, probably in these tutorials because I like the fact that it's in Berlin and I'm here in Wales and I'm, I'm you know connecting to it. Um, uh, so if I go and get blah blah blah, here we go. If I go and get that node information, which is here, so that's the node information. Um, and we're connecting on port 8077, which is this thing here. And then the end point is this version one get info. So if we refer back to the LND or to the LND REST API, version one get info returns general information concerning the Lightning node, including its identity, identity pub key, alias, um, the chains it's connected to, blah, blah, blah. All the stuff we're going to display on our little module. Um, so yeah, we will need um, a macaroon. So you'll need to export the um, read macaroon. You don't have to export the admin macaroon, just the read macaroon from the LND node. You'll have to Google that depending on what you know what node you're running. Uh, the Raspberry Blitz is really simple. There's actually just a menu item uh, you can select, um, and then when you select it, it just exports um, a string. Uh, you know, a, 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 a just a big long number for the for the read me macaroon and for also for the add me macaroon. So once you've done that, just literally just paste that in there between those two um, uh, quotation marks. Uh, and this is the fiddly bit is actually getting the the SSL certificate because it needs to be in this specific format in order for our library to to, to recognize it and run it properly. Um, so we're going to go to our uh, endpoint here where we've actually managed to connect. You see here it's saying it's expecting a macaroon, so we're able to connect to the node, but it's not able to verify the node. Um, uh, so we click on, this is in Firefox, we click on the little uh, lock bolt here. It says connection not secure, I click on here, 
because uh, obviously this is a self-generated TLS certificate on the um, LND node, uh, so it's not being like verified by a, an external um, secure security like very guard or whatever it's called. Um, so we're going to click on. So it says it's not secure, but it is because we generated the certificate, so we know it's secure. Click on more information, and then we can click on view certificate um, details. Ah, uh -huh, here we are. Export, um, and then when we click on export. It'll ask to export the certificate out. We'll export it out. Where shall I export it to? I'll export it to here. Um, doesn't need to be in here. Just so, so it's exported out. Um, you will then need uh, to use um, like a, a text editor. Um, so I'll just use. I'll just literally use a text editor here. Um, and we'll need to open. Blah, 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 blah. Open that um, that certificate. So we've now got the certificate open here. Now we need to format it uh, like the example here. Okay. So I'm going to copy that, paste that in there, and I'm going to replace the top line here. And then you'll notice there's like backslash n da, 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 on the end of each one of these lines. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And then let's we'll replace the whole thing there. So it looks like a pain in the ass, but actually if you just do copy paste, it's not it's that, that traumatic. Um, so then we got uh, a quote mark at the beginning of each one of these lines. And there we go. Should we indent that? Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, there we go. So there's our, our certificates. That that should work as like that, even though it doesn't look so pretty. Um, so I'll paste that in there. Uh, will that let me indent it to there? There we go. Um, sorry. So three, one, two, three. Ooh. So, uh. This isn't necessary, by the way, so I'm just wasting your time now. Um, but it looks nice. So we wrap up our certificate in um, a SHA array called uh, test root CA. Okay, we um, add our macaroon, we add our Wi-Fi credentials, we add our, um, our endpoint here, our server. Then, uh, oh, we don't need actually on the, um, on the front here, we don't need the HTTPS, that'll just confuse the library, so it needs to be like in that format, okay? Obviously this is like a sub, domain yours might not be a subdomain yours just might be like a regular normal URL if you set that up um, and then it connects uh, we need to put our node credentials in there so I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to replace that there and then also because we're being polite we'll replace the thing there so um, now, because you've put your macaroon in this string thing here, it then calls that string here. So one of the headers it sends in the get request. So a get request is like, you know, you hit a URL, you hit the server, and then you just say, send me back data. So you're not putting any data, you're not sending any data, you're just requesting to access that page, okay? Um, and then for to authorize yourself, um, we're gonna be using this gRPC uh, metadata macaroon, and this is the read macaroon, um, which we just put at the top. Um, and then the rest of that should be fine. So I'm going to blur out quickly while I um, add my credentials. Oh. So you can see how big that string is. And then I'm going to put in my Wi Fi. So sorry about the blurriness. Oop. All looks good. Yep, 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 yep. And then I'm going to um, open up a serial monitor. Oh, 
on connect match for the SP32 is probably a good good place to start, isn't it? Yeah, okay, my SP32 is my Node MCU ESP32. Open up a serial monitor. Um, which I'll stick over here, I think, and then. Um, Right, okay. Uh, then I'm going to upload. I'm going to call it something. Um, get LND. I wonder if this will work first time. Things rarely do. Oh, oh, what have I got here? I got a stray backslash here. So that, I don't think that needs to be there. So let's get rid of that. That must be in the GitHub then. That's pretty bad. I'll have to take that off the GitHub. Okay, so it's compiling it. It's getting it ready to upload to the ESP32. It's trying to upload it. I need to press the little upload button on the ESP32 to activate the upload bit. It's uploading it, 3%. It's like toggling different percentages, but I can't see it because it's sort of, yeah, out of view. Okay, so I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi. It's connected. And then, look at that. So there we go. It returned um uh some information the information about my node brilliant so i've got my public key i got how many channels i'm connected to cool um so that totally worked and there we are we did it we got our esp32 to communicate to our lightning full node and uh, get some information ask for some inf information in the get request and then uh output that information to the serial monitor on our computer so we did it, fantastic. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll look at um, outputting that information then to a, uh, a little e-paper display or something. So taking the information we've collected and then outputting it to an e-paper display. Um, if you want to support this show, then obviously you can subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, but as well as that, you can go visit the shop at jiggerwatt.co. Uh, that we I, I sell the SP32s. I also sell the the uh, buy Bitcoin stamps. They're pretty good and, and they're cheap as well. Um, so if you want to support the show, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, as well as obviously just watching and then buying the stuff yourself and then building these things yourself. I will populate the, the shop with more um, uh, little kits maybe, like maker kits, um, when I get around to it and pretty busy at the moment. So that's that. Well, there we are. Thank you, and I'll see you again.